Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys re-sign veteran D.L. Wright before free agency window. In their latest roster move, the Dallas Cowboys are bringing back a veteran defensive lineman before the free agency window opens. Fans may not be very familiar with Carl Davis, but the journeyman defensive tackle appears to be coming back to Dallas. DallasCowboys.com writer Patrick Walker was the first to announce the news on March 6. Davis has played for several different teams and spent the 2023 season with the Cowboys. The Cowboys signed nose tackle Carl Davis to the roster just ahead of 2024 NFL free agency. All in, Walker wrote on X. Carl Davis returns to the hashtag Cowboys after a 2023 stint that saw him active for three games. He is a former third-round pick of the Ravens, 2015, out of Iowa who has spent time with the Browns, Colts, Jaguars, Patriots and Seahawks. He has 68 combined tackles in 19 NFL starts. There isn't a whole lot to say about Davis's 2023 season as he only played 30 defensive snaps in three appearances last year. He did collect three tackles in the process, but did not register any other stats of note. Davis's background before Dallas a former Iowa Hawkeye, Davis was drafted in the third round of the 2015 NFL Draft by the Baltimore Ravens. However, he did not pan out as the team would have hoped. After a quiet rookie year, Davis suffered an ankle injury at the worst time in 2016. The defensive tackle missed the entirety of the campaign, which meant he was entering 2017 with a need to prove his worth. He got a proper chance with 15 appearances, but he didn't flash. Pro Football Reference states that he totaled 19 tackles, two tackles for loss and a half sack in 2017. At the beginning of the 2018 season, Davis was released. Over the next two seasons, Davis was signed and released by three different teams. He made appearances for the Cleveland Browns, Jacksonville Jaguars and Indianapolis Colts but could not find a long-term home. That was until the New England Patriots came calling. Davis played three years in Foxborough and had the best season of his career there in 2021. That year, Davis made 19 tackles and added a sack. After 11 tackles and another sack in 2022, the Patriots and Davis parted ways. Cowboys do set to test free agency while Dallas is bringing back Davis, they do not seem to be re-signing defensive lineman Durant's Armstrong Jr. Armstrong has carved out a significant role with the Cowboys, but is going to be a free agent when the window opens. ESPN reporter Jeremy Fowler said that Armstrong is, most likely, to sign elsewhere. Further, he believes the Washington Commanders are in contention as a landing spot. This key Dallas defensive lineman has plenty of interest, Fowler wrote on March 3. He most likely won't be back with the Cowboys. New Commanders coach Dan Quinn could try to snag him in Washington. This move does make plenty of sense for the Commanders and Armstrong. However, it would sting Dallas fans to see a guy with 16 sacks over the past two seasons start pursuing Cowboys QB Dak Prescott. Cowboys urge to roll dice on disgruntled star free agent RB. The closer we get to the official start of the new NFL year, the further away we appear to be getting from any actual answers on what might be coming next for the Dallas Cowboys. Reports have it that they're letting their top offensive lineman, Tyron Smith, walk, that their nickel and diming star edge rusher Micah Parsons, and there's even a rumor they'll let Dak Prescott play out his contract and not sign any major new players. It's possible that Cowboys free agency could be a rough time, but if there is some hope, it's in the notion that no matter what happens, the team is going to need a running back. Sure, it's possible that the Cowboys could simply re-sign Tony Pollard on a reduced contract, but there is expected to be a trove of available players at the position, and the Cowboys could use a new one, even if it needs to be a bargain. At Bleacher Report, they're predicting that Chargers running back Austin Eckler, who is coming off a season in which he was unhappy and wanted a trade out of L.A., would be the right mix of value and talent to reboot the Cowboys' ground game. Eckler missed three games with an ankle injury and lost carries to Joshua Kelly, but is there for the plucking in Cowboys' free agency. Austin Eckler could prove to be a value signing here's how Alex K of BR wrote it.
The Dallas Cowboys should roll the dice on Eckler this spring, as owner Jerry Jones has never shied away from a splashy free agent signing. Dallas didn't find the success it was hoping for after releasing Ezekiel Elliott and installing longtime backup Tony Pollard as its starting back for 2023. With Pollard set to test the market, the Cowboys could opt for a fresh start by letting him walk and bringing Eckler aboard for 2024. There is some sense to starting over again, and certainly Eckler will be a value proposition for anyone who signs him. He is projected to get a three year, $22 million contract at Spatrac, and Pro Football Focus has him warranting a much more modest deal at two years, $9 million total. The cap strapped Cowboys might pass on Eckler at the Spatrac numbers, but might jump at the PFF contract projection. Cowboys free agency could be disappointing. The bigger problem, though, might be the actual fit of Eckler in the Cowboys' offense. One aspect that Dallas clearly missed without Elliott on the roster last year was his ability to run between the tackles and bruise his way for short yardage. That's not really the style of Pollard, who is an upright runner, excelling on using his speed on the edges. Eckler is shifty with the ball but he is 5'10 and 200 pounds, not exactly a short yardage grinder. He is an excellent receiver out of the backfield and, in 2022, recorded 107 catches for 722 yards and five touchdowns. Eckler would add an interesting element for the Cowboys, but the way the rumor mill is shaping up, this could be a very disappointing offseason in Dallas. That includes the return of Pollard. According to Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News, running back additions were not much discussed at last week's Combine but returning Pollard to the roster was. Derek Henry and Saquon Barkley's names did not come up in Indy. The team is more likely to re-sign Tony Pollard, presuming his price is attainable, and draft a cheap, fresh leg back to complement him, Gilkin wrote. Dallas Cowboys make potentially controversial Micah Parsons' decision. The Dallas Cowboys will pick up Micah Parsons' fifth-year option, but the decision could potentially alienate the franchise and one of its brightest stars. Fresh off being named a first-team All-Pro for the first time, and finishing as the runner-up in NFL Defensive Player of the Year voting, the Cowboys picked up Parsons' fifth-year option but did so as a defensive end, according to the Dallas Morning News. While it makes sense that Dallas would label Parsons as a defensive end, based on the fact that he played a majority of snaps in 2023 as an edge rusher, the move also has significant cap ramifications for the Cowboys and when it comes to Parsons' paycheck. Under the terms of the NFL Collective Bargaining Agreement, the defensive end fifth-year option is slated to cost $21.32 million. However, Parsons has lined up as an off-ball linebacker frequently in the Cowboys' defense, and the linebacker tag carries a $24 million price tag for the upcoming season. By classifying Parsons as a defensive end rather than a linebacker, the Cowboys save $2.68 million under the cap while the 24-year-old star will make slightly less than he could have. Pro Football Focus points out that Parsons played 88% of his snaps at defensive end, but with new defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer arriving, it remains to be seen if how Parsons will be used moving forward.